architecture is, is really an eloquent expression of who we are. Um, it depicts our history. It's, it's as important as the stories we tell. Cape Cod's recognized for a lot of things. I mean, you've got our, our the beaches, the pristine natural setting, but what is, is really under-recognized is the architecture. Cape Cod has a very rich vernacular heritage, an array of, of how home styles, very different home styles built during um, various eras. In uh, 1800, the president of Yale University, Timothy Dwight, um, vacationed on the Cape and he came upon these these small houses and he deemed them a style unto their own. He called them Cape Cod style houses. They were small, uh, one and a half story houses, very simple, low ceilings and little ornamentation. People who lived there were not interested in impressing their neighbors. <laughs> they were basic structures, just meant for, for sleeping and eating and, and not much else. <laughs> Toward the end of the, uh, the 18th century, the Cape Cod harbors were, were bustling um, we, and as the, the community came upon the whaling era. Captains who went out to sea became very wealthy um, and they the architecture changed then as, as they built um, homes that were testaments to their prosperity. You see Georgians, Greek revivals, and even a wonderful example of a French Second Empire style home. These were much larger houses, more sophisticated and elaborate with wonderful detail and the finest of furnishings. People really started to grasp the concept of um, decorating their homes. By about the 1880s, um, train travel made Cape Cod accessible from uh, Boston, New York, and, and wealthy people started to flock to the area as a, as a summer destination. They built homes in the style of English country manors and Queen Anne's that were really quite lavish summer palaces. They were designed for entertaining and, and hosting overnight guests. The level of craftsmanship that went into these homes was really amazing. Um, you see large scale spaces, um, most of which were intended for entertaining. Um, you, see, you see intricate carving um, on fireplace mantles, uh, fireplace surrounds. You also see imported tiles and um, wide open staircases. After World War II, uh, important European architects uh, like Marcel Breuer and Walter Gropius uh, settled in Boston. And they and, and a bunch of their accolades came to the Cape in the summer and used it sort of as, as a laboratory for experimentation. And they built um, very humble, modest structures um, with, with wide expanses of glass and decks that went all around the houses. So they could, could essentially live in nature. Um, it was a time of, of experimenting with, with new materials, certainly lots of different types of woods, but also concrete and um, homosote, which was the first um, material made of, of uh, recycled consumer waste. People come to the Cape uh, to go to the beach, to fish, to boat, to play golf. Another thing to add to that list is, is to take an architectural tour. Thank you.